Well, medical experts are calling it a COVID summer surge. The CDC says Minnesota is among 27 states currently reporting very high levels of COVID activity. Richard Reeve joins us with how scientists are using wastewater data to track the virus. Yeah, Kevin, the University of Minnesota is now using wastewater sampling as a kind of measuring stick to monitor how the virus is spreading. A U of M doctor says the latest numbers show there is more COVID going through the Twin Cities and that this surge wasn't expected to happen until the fall. Experts say the spread of the virus measured in these samples comes in waves. For example, this graphic shows you what's going on in the metro. Look at where we were in May. Nearly 3,400 copies of the virus replicating itself per liter of wastewater. The newest numbers taken this month show the amount of virus has tripled to nearly 13,000. The study also shows there were 28 COVID-related hospitalizations in May versus 106 in July. A U of M med school doctor tells us researchers are learning the virus can change itself, but our immune systems are adjusting as well. There's no question that there's a lot of COVID right now uh, circulating in the community. No question at all across the state. So right now, we just have a lot of virus circulating that has some new features to it that not a lot of us have been exposed to. We have enough immunity so we don't get sick enough to go into the hospital, but not enough immunity to prevent infection. Dr. Shacker says people react differently to COVID depending on their genetic makeup and what strain of virus they're exposed to. The CDC is recommending everyone over the age of six months get the updated vaccine this season. An expected delivery date has not been announced, but in previous years, the shot was made available in late August or September, Lindsay. All right, we'll let everyone know. Good information, Rich. Thank you.